Well, they've got about a 15-day mission in prospect, a nice clean getaway. It's about a nine-minute ride uh, to their initial orbit. After about two minutes, the, uh, the strap-on boosters that you see at the bottom of the rocket, they'll come away, and then uh, the main core stage then will separate, and then they'll go with their upper stage. That'll lift them to uh, a height of uh, a couple of hundred kilometers above the Earth, but over the course of the next 40 hours or so, uh, they will have to raise that orbit up to about 335 kilometers, and that'll bring them then towards Tiangong-1. This is the space lab that they launched a couple of years ago. It's a single module, and it's a test. It's a demonstrator of the space station that they hope to build at the end of this decade. A much bigger construction. This will have uh, three or four modules all interlocked. It'll be serviced by robotic vehicles, just as we see uh, with the International Space Station. Um, but it'll, it, it's a learning curve for the Chinese here. They're having to understand how you do this. Things that the Russians, the Soviets had learned, the Americans have learned, the Europeans, the Japanese, the Canadians, they have learned how to do this over the past 40 years. Um, and the Chinese are in a process of, of catch-up here, and they're having to run fast to catch up.